All right, this question is going to become more and more pressing as the year moves on and we get closer to January. So it's been announced that from the USMLE that step one will go to pass fail at some point in the future as early as January 2022. Um, unknown exactly when that will happen or exactly how that will happen, but we should anticipate that if we want to get a three digit score for the exam, we should probably plan to take it before January of next year. Now for many students right now who are thinking about taking step one, that's likely gonna happen before clinical rotations usually begin in midsummer or towards the fall. And so that's not as big of a question unless you're considering delaying the exam for a variety of reasons, personal and professional, in which case you have to weigh the option of taking the exam later or taking it now if your school affords you that opportunity. So a couple questions to ask yourself. What score do you need to get if, to get into the field of your choice? That is to say, what would be your minimum standard that you would be willing to accept to apply confidently into your field? What is your standardized test taking history? How strong are you in standardized tests in general? Uh, and generally, what would you have to do like to your timeline of your medical education in order to fit the exam in if, for instance, you're already on clinical rotations and would be forced to take step one, let's say, during clinical rotations, which would be a pretty gargantuan task that's a huge mitigating factor. In general, the recommendation that we're going to provide here is if you can take the exam before January 2022, if it is feasible and possible, and you will pass it on your first attempt, you should take it because the three-digit score that you get on this exam carries with you even after the exam goes past fail. If you apply for residency after four years of an MD PhD in the future, you still can use your three-digit step one score in applications. It will still be there. Your score still exists if you obtain it before January. When the exam goes past fail, you will not have a three-digit score. You will have pass or fail. And generally speaking, any information beyond passing or failing the exam is going to provide a benefit to you since any other applicant that has a pass fail score versus your three digit number must be assumed to be at the passing threshold, whereas you are definitely above it if you got a passing score on the exam with the three digit number associated. In short, if you can fit it in and you feel confident that you will take the exam and pass it and not obtain a failing score, we're going to push for you guys to try to take the exam before January to get it out of the way, knock it out, and get a number associated to your name and to your application for residency in the future. Um, anything to add to that, Moses? I think that the key thing is to know yourself, know your goal, um, and use the strategies that, that Joe has highlighted. Um, this is that time of some uncertainty as these tests change how they're being reported, but that doesn't mean that, um, it, it, that you don't have an opportunity to put your best foot forward. And I think you should take that opportunity.